big data comes to big time sports. For Olympic athletes and those in the professional ranks, performance on the field is paramount, and the prevention of injury is a major part of that. That's where San Francisco-based Kitman Labs comes in. The startup has developed technology that can assess data from numerous points on an athlete's body to find ways to prevent injury. The company is currently working with several Olympic teams to keep players healthy, and we're joined now by Kitman Labs co-founder and CEO, Stephen Smith. Hi, Stephen. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. So, Stephen, what did you see that led you to believe there was a need for this kind of specific technology? I think like any industry now, technology has turned, you know, the, the entire industry upside down. And athletes today are, are more like supercomputers than anything else. We're measuring everything about them. And the problem is, just like in any other industry, is how do we interpret that information? How do we make sense of it? And how can we use that for, for greater good and for better? All right, so take us through the process. An athlete stands in front of a camera and data is gathered at several points on the body, correct? And then what happens? I mean, that, that's only one, one very minute aspect of what we do. We collect data about everything to do with the demands that are placed on athletes through what they do in a training field, what they do in a gym, what they do in competition. And then we pair that back with how are they responding and how are they responding you know, physiologically from a sleep perspective, from a recovery perspective, from a biomechanical perspective. And for us, it's all about the interpretation of not just what we do with the athlete and the demands we place on them, but how they respond day to day. And how did you formulate the technology to deal with this data? Did you work with doctors, physical therapists? I mean, my background is that I, I spent my entire career working in professional sport, and the idea was born out of that and my master's research, which investigated combined risk factors as predictors of athletic injury. And then we worked with numerous teams that we started to, uh, to partner along with at the very start to actually build out this idea and this concept and to try and bring this to fruition. Okay, so yeah, tell us about that specifically, because I know the South African Olympic rugby team and the Irish field hockey team used Kitman to collect physical data on its athletes leading up to the Olympics. So how is this technology helping them right now in Rio? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're still using the technology today. We're seeing data stream in and out, you know, every couple of minutes and every couple of hours. And they're using that data to essentially understand how, how what they're doing with the athletes is prepping them for performance and then how they're responding day to day to that to change the way they train the athletes day to day, change the way they treat the athletes. Because we know humans are incredibly complex. We all respond differently to what we're actually doing. And what we can do is help teams to find that balance, to understand which athletes to push and which athletes to pull. Because the last thing we want is to push the athletes too much during a competition like this, have them burn out a break, or not push them hard enough, and then not allow them to train to the best of their ability or play to the best of their ability and perform and win gold. Absolutely. So it allows them to just calibrate that training to the finest level. Now, Kitman Labs just completed its first ever annual sports injury assessment report and what did you find? Uh, we found that we, we've been helping to make really great inroads with some of the teams that we're working with. We've had a decrease in 65% in career season ending injuries, a decrease of 31% in severe injuries and we've helped teams to reduce player unavailability by 41% which is enormous. Those type of games are worth millions and, and also we know that they're worth a huge amount of wins and a huge amount when it comes to where you finish on the ladder and whether you win trophies or not. All right. Stephen Smith, thank you so much for telling us about this uh, cool new technology. Thank you. Thank you.